All right, today we're going to be using GarageBand to create a podcast. Recently, GarageBand has been updated, and in the update, uh, they took away what made uh, using GarageBand for podcasting to be intuitive. Uh, now it takes a little bit more uh, exploring, uh, and I'm going to try and help uh, ease that and make it a little uh, more simplified for creating a uh, new podcast using the new GarageBand. So to use GarageBand, I simply got to get it started. So I'm going to go to the launch pad and find that guitar icon. And I click it. And uh, it wants to know what kind of project I'm going to do. And right now, it's an empty project. Uh, I'm not using any uh, instruments or anything like that. So I'm going to select empty project and click choose. Next, it wants to know what I'm going to be using for instruments and so forth. I'm going to be using a microphone or line input, so I'm going to make sure that that is what is selected and has the spotlight on it. I'm going to click Create. And this is where my audio is going to come from. So, you know what? I'm going to make things really simple. I'm going to get started right away doing the audio first. Uh, eventually, I'm going to put in another track that has uh, the music uh, introduction and a music exit as well. So let's get started by making sure that our track is going to sound the way we want. So I clicked on voice in the uh, far left column, and the type of voice I want is a compressed vocal. That seems to give us the best natural sounding voice. So I'm going to click that. And then I am going to uh, deselect these two buttons here. One is for counting in. I don't really need anything to help count me into doing the audio. And I'm going to deselect the metronome because I certainly don't need that, you know, tick-tock sound of the metronome to keep me in time. So I'm going to deselect them simply by clicking on them so that they're not purple anymore. And now I can get started with the audio, the kind of meat and potatoes of my podcast. So I'm going to hit the red record button. And when I'm done speaking, I'm going to simply hit the stop button. So I'm going to hit record. Today we're taking a look at how to use GarageBand for creating a podcast. Recently, GarageBand has been updated, and it no longer is quite so intuitive for creating a podcast since they took the podcast button away. So we're taking a look at how to use those tools uh, to simplify and create your own podcast that sounds professional. So I hit stop. I'm all done recording, and there is all of my audio. If I hit this uh, go to the beginning, uh, button. I move the playhead all the way to the beginning. I can go back and I can listen to my audio. Today we're taking a look at how to use GarageBand for creating a podcast. Recently GarageBand has been updated and I can hit stop whenever I'm done. I'll go back to the beginning here. So that is, you know, the meat, pota meat and potatoes say of my podcast. I've got that recorded audio in there. But I want to make it sound a little more professional. So what I want to do is I want to add in a musical introduction and a mu musical exit. So what I'll do is I will go up to the track menu and I'm going to select new track and we can keep it as a microphone piece. It doesn't really matter. And where it says audio two, I'm going to double click there and I'm going to change that to music intro. Okay, And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get this musical intro uh, by using the loops that are built into GarageBand. I'm not going to certainly play an instrument because I don't know how. So I'm going to hit Apple Loops. I'm going to find something that I like uh, in here and simply uh, I can just hear what these sound like just by clicking them. Oh, that's kind of neat. So what I'm going to do is just drag that I've that track that I found up to my music intro track. 
Now, obviously, I can't have me talking and my introduction both, uh, you know, being on top of one another because it would sound like this. See, it, you know, it's hard to hear one over the other. So what I'm going to do is have that musical intro play for a few seconds, and then I'm going to have it fade out, and then you'll hear my voice. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I am going to click this Show Automation button. And I am going to first, let's click my uh, actual uh, podcast audio, and what I'm going to do is drag it over so that uh, we can see, you know, I've got some free space here, but what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to click on the music intro. There's a, a volume line here, and what I want to do is I'm going to click right here at about the two second mark or so. And I am going to click at the end of the track until I get another white dot there. And I'm going to drag this down to the bottom. Okay, so now when I bring this to the beginning, there we go. So I could actually move that in just a little bit more. We'll see how that sounds. Oh, much better. Okay, so that's the music, music at the beginning of our podcast. So what I could do is click here where it says music intro, and I'm going to go up to where it says track and do new track with duplicate settings. And this, I'm going to double click where it says Audio 3, and I'm going to call it Music Exit, and hit Return. And I'm going to scroll to the end of our podcast, and let's see. Okay, I'm going to take that piece of music. And I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to hit the Show Automation. And I'm going to take this Volume button here. And I am going to, oh, yes. Remember, it was down at the bottom. So now I have to, let's see, I'm going to bring this. I'm going to do a fade in instead of a fade out. So there we go. All right. So now I'm going to put the playhead right here at the end of the podcast and let's see how that sounds. All right, so I'm going to move this in just a little bit like this because that was coming in just a little too early. So let's see. All right, and so when I'm all done, now the last part to do is to share this uh, podcast. So I'm going to go up to where it says share, and I'm going to send this song to my iTunes. I'm going to give it a title, First Podcast, Oops, Podcast, and I can put my name in here, I can say what kind of quality I want that to be, and actually kind of the small, I'm going to put medium quality because it's, it is just, you know, really my voice, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit share. And it's going to take that and mix it all together so that it's one piece of audio. And it's going to put it into my iTunes. And here it is. So this has been how to create a podcast 
uh, with an audio intro and exit uh, that fades in and out. So uh, have a good day. Hope you learned a lot.